My mailman just brought me something from Canada. Oh, can't make that name out. Let's see. I got several people I know in Canada. Scrapping Crash. Does that? And says I can put this on YouTube, so <laughs> uh, I certainly will. Right now, I'm debating on. Oh man, I uh, sit on my walker. My legs is wore out. Well, that oh, yeah, that'll open. Just do not bend. I'm still working on the yard. I, ooh, what is that? Always. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, Lord, I mercy. <laughs> I like my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap <laughs> always rest brewed coffee yes sir <laughs> oh, <I guess. laughs> oh yeah that'll go right on right above my desk <laughs> a matter of fact I'm to put a coffee pot in my room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank you, uh, <laughs> Intro. No, no, but I'm, uh, let's see it. Let me put my glass. <laughs> That's so neat. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's what it says from Scrapping Crash. Really? Scrapping crash? Yeah, I've got a scrapping crash on there. <laughs> and I guess it says... Is this French? I guess it is. Oh. Uh, Matt. I can't read it. Can't read it. By golly. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Always fresh brew coffee. <laughs> That's neat. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's neat. Matter of fact, I'm fixing to run back over to Publix. I think I am. I may not get to. I forgot to hook the battery charger up to my up to my scooter. It's sitting nowhere. Almost dead in the doornail. I didn't realize I traveled as much on that thing this morning as I did. But I sure like that. Always fresh brood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Or ma'am, man, but whatever. <laughs> I like that. Shoot. Yeah, I love that. 
I got another coffee sign, but I it, it's not as nice as this, but it don't say the same thing. <laughs> I like that. Well, golly, man, I appreciate it. I'm waiting for it to cool off just a little bit before I get back out here, and I got a video that's processing right now. Um, I, it don't take long. It don't take long uh, for my videos when I upload them to uh, YouTube. I'm going to take that off. It doesn't take long uh, to upload to YouTube, but when I when I transfer the videos from my camera to the to the uh, computer, that takes actually takes longer to transfer from this GoPro, and I don't know why it does, but it does. Uh, and uh, also, when I and I use Movie Maker, that's the only thing I've got that I can wrap my brain around. I got Video Pad Editor, but I can't wrap my brain around it, and I can't find nobody to teach me. Um, but when I when I put it on uh, on uh, uh, Windows Movie Maker. Uh, I get all the files there, then it takes probably an hour or more to transfer that and convert it and everything, getting it ready to, so I can upload it to YouTube. So I wish there was a, I knew a faster way to do this editing and stuff, but I, I don't. But <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Fresh brewed coffee. I've already had three or four cups today. I want another cup, but I don't want to make a pot here. I'd like to just go to Publix and get it, but I forgot to put my charger on. Kind of nice. For sale. I think that place has a couple of orange trees in the back. Not a very big house. Uh, it's got an orange tree back there. Yep. See the oranges or grapefruit, one or the other. That's a small lot, too. I 
I see a pile of trash on sitting up under. I'll go check it out. I'm not really scrapping today. I'm just riding around. Looking at stuff. Maybe even being a little nosy. They just put up new fence there. Oh, I've got stuff out of here before. And there probably ain't nothing in here because it's not. That's the same can I was looking at. That bag wasn't there. And I see cans. I'm going to get cans. <laughs> I'm right here at them. I might as well. Get some cans. That seat's going to be hot. Oh boy, that boy, I'm gonna tell you what, when that sun hits that seat, it heats. Oh, 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 oh god. I swear that's almost blistering hot. Son of a gun. It sure is. Almost blistering hot. You know what? I'm going to go down to this place, I just did a video about these two little girls that's out there, 10. That's a two center. Which house were they at? They were down here. They were down here. And it was this house. Let's see. Was it this house? I can't remember which house it was. I 
I think it was that house. Yeah, it was that house. Nobody around. I like to talk to them some more. More stuff out there. But it's nothing. Nothing. It's, I always have been sitting here for days. Oh well. Christmas tree, nobody wants it. It's kind of hot out there. But you can always hit one of these little shaded spots, cool off a minute. I'll bet you that washer sitting over a scrap. I'm gonna go on down here a ways yet and see what's going on. That don't hurt to look, you know, and especially if you enjoy yourself. And I do enjoy myself out like this. I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't want no why. I just, I just do. Let's see what's in there. <laughs> some mosquitoes and some water. Nothing. Nah, I wonder if my lady friend's home up here. Go in there and see. Whoop, there's a can. There's a can. I don't have my pickup stick with me. Maybe boy that sewer place is stinking today. Good gosh. That takes some getting used to for me. I wonder if she's home. If she is, she ain't out there. No. Oh, boy, hands in my feet. I cut down on that gabapentin or neurointin that I was taking. I'm trying to get off that stuff, but it does relieve the pain, the foot pain, you know, for the neuropathy. Boy, but every once in a while, a pain will come down through there, and it's almost like somebody uh, hits you with a stick or a hammer or something. It's not, don't last very long, but boy, it sure, <laughs> it makes me grunt when it hits. Oh. Yeah. I 
um, I might go on down here and have a look see just just for the heck of it I'm not opening no garbage cans I will, if I see something sticking out I want I'll get it but as far as opening one digging in it nah if it's no lid on it I'll take a peek But I just ordered me a um, special hand grip from my GoPro and it, just, it also doubles as a tripod. And um, the next thing I got to order is a remote control for my GoPro and that sucker's $50. Uh, but that'll eliminate the problem I'm having if not knowing whether it's on or off. I can look at the remote and tell what what status is on it. Whoop, there's a piece of looks like a lawnmower hit it. I don't know where the rest of the can's at, but I'll get that little piece. It's aluminum. Somebody said, well, that's just a little piece. Why are you messing with it? Well, here's my thoughts on little stuff and big stuff. It takes just as much to make this aluminum right here as it does a piece off of that big can right there. It takes just as much. So, it all adds up. It all adds up, my friend. Is that a Bougainvillea? I believe it is. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation for it or not, but when I see one, I know it's a Bougainvillea, and I know what a Bougainvillea is. Boy, they cut that yard real close there. Looks nice though, it's not really green green. I like real green grass. Uh, my place I had out in the country that I, I got rid of a good while back, uh, I had spent, I had a big truck that I bought from U-Haul. It was a 28 footer. And there was a sod farm about 10 miles from where I lived. And I went and bought, I think it was 20 pallets of sod. And take this in mind, I didn't know what the crap I was doing. And I went and spent all that money for that sod, and it was a hundred and something dollars a pallet. And I bought 20 pallets. And then went out in my yard, I had an acre, and put all that sod down. And you don't take sod, especially if you want to do a nice job and everything. You don't take sod and put it down over, over the old grass. That stuff's got to come up. You got to do it right. Well, I didn't do that. I put it down over it, and I was just blowing my money. Two years down the road, the old stuff was coming up between it. <laughs> I even put in the irrigation, man. I, done, I thought I was doing it right. But I won't. I wasn't doing it right. But... You know them, them, uh, them two little girls that when I was doing yesterday, and I cut, they had that, they was out there, and I still don't know for sure what they were selling. All I know is, and I'm almost a hundred percent sure there's that one guy was a predator, and that just troubles me. You know, kids. That age are 
they they're not suspicious usually a lot of them aren't suspicious and they should be especially for somebody they don't know but that just troubles me them, them little girls was I'm gonna go across this way and just look. That troubles me. Kids, are, the kids like that, they're so vulnerable. And there's so many wicked, evil people out there. They, they, I just shudder to think about what was going down is what I thought was going down. Uh, that guy would have tried to snatch them girls or one of them. He'd probably tried to snatch them both. He'd probably lured them over to his vehicle to start with. I'm sure that's what was going on. But I won't buy out the leave there till I know that everything was cool. I won't buy out the leave there. And them little girls did not like me going up there <coughs> to the adults in the house. <coughs> but you know what? Maybe when they're 20 and know what's going on in the world, maybe they'll think, I'm sure glad that old man butted in. Cause I sure butted in. Is there anything in? Nothing. Nothing. <clears throat> but I sure butted in, and I'll butt in again. If I'll see something like that. Cause I I just couldn't see a. a a parent or adults letting them girls go out there like that on their own. No way, no how. <clears throat> and you know, I lost my son in 1986. He was 14. But it was an accident. They was in a car Greyhound bus collision. They didn't stand a chance. That was my son and his girlfriend. She was driving. Kill them both. Awful. Terrible to lose a child. But in hindsight, I didn't think anything could be worse than that. But if you ha if you lost a child due to somebody kidnapping them or something like that, attacking them and killing them and stuff like that, that's got to be worse. That somebody would deliberately kill your baby. I mean, that's, that, folks, I, you can have all the stuff in the world. You know, boats, trailer, all that stuff. But, it all boils down most of the time, I'd say 99% of the time, your babies, your kids, is what it boils down to. That's what matters. Uh, I mean, other stuff matters, but your kids, that's what you're there for, for those kids. And to lose one at somebody else's hand or carelessness, that's awful. That is terrible. I think I'm gonna stop here in the shade a minute. <clears throat> I keep having to take my hat off and look at my camera to see if it's still recording. <clears throat> Sometimes I think that thing's got a mind of its own. Well, I think I'm gonna head to the house. I got some work to do out there in the shop. You know, I need to get out here 
this tree right there, all this growth you see around the bottom here does not need to be there. It needs to be trimmed out. That cedar tree over there that's dead, that sucker needs to come down. I don't know why the people that own the property don't do that. Uh, that one down on the end there, I'm not sure what that is. This here's a Chinese elm. <clears throat> but it needs to... But the yard's mowed. I, I see some bits and pieces of stuff laying around. I don't know why that's there. And there's some stuff up there in front of the house that needs to get gone. I'm going to get that directly. Um, this right here, it's all right. I hope I didn't leave a mark on that car. See nothing. I don't see no damage. Now I've got some mess here that I got to clean up. See, my grandson don't understand what cleaning up in hell, he'll hit and miss. But then he'll leave something like that. Now that box has been there six months, I know. That tray too. That sprayer, I don't know why that's out here. But I need to get all this other stuff. And that fern you see right there that's growing up around the house, that stuff will eat you up. It's got little briars on that that will burn you a new one, and I learned that the hard way. And that little thing right there, that needs to be cut. And when that guy was hauling all that trash and stuff, I don't know why he didn't take them. That's cat litter. That's cat litter. The pipe there, that's part of the gutter system. It come loose. I got to see if I can fix it up there. Now, backyard don't look bad. You know, it's clean. Oh. Uh, Back porch, I got to get on there and start taking care of that. There's some stuff on there that still needs to go. Um, so we're getting there. We cheated a little bit on the yard. We had help with that, but you know, that's, that's what it is. I've got to... I have got to get this pile of stuff here. This is all stuff that I've got to process. Um, I think one day I'm going to set in and I'm not going to work on nothing but processing that stuff for one day and see if I can put a dent in it. Um, I've got two flat screen TVs. There's a small one behind that big one. My daughter ain't seen that because I just got that yesterday. <laughs> oh, she was, she ain't gonna be happy about that. She won't see it. I'll get that thing apart. Um, but all this other stuff, I got to get it processed. And there's gonna be some scrap in it, but the scrap. The, the, when I say scrap, I'm talking about the shred, the steel, 
that I ain't going to deal with. I'm going to put it in a pile. And this guy's coming back in three weeks to mow the yard. And he can... It, matter of fact, he's supposed to come back every three weeks a month. And uh, he can get any shred I have accumulated then. Which I'm going to keep on accumulating it because... Uh, you know, it comes like that printer. There's going to be steel in that that I'm... I'm uh, and when I take them ceiling fans apart, steel in that. And that electric oven over there, there's a lot of steel in that. Actually, I've got three. I got two flat screen TVs and then that one CRT sitting there. But I'll tell you what, everything on that pile right there, and actually a lot more than that, but that just that pile right there, it all got hauled in here on this little scooter. Every bit, even them big flat screen TVs, all got hauled in here. And them aluminum uh, window rod things that has them plastic slats that hangs on it. I even brought them in here on the scooter. I was holding them between my legs. It's the only way I could haul them. Oh. Whew. Well, I got to go inside a minute. Anyway, uh, I'll see you on the next video.